YouTube, it's your girl Raquel. What's going on, y'all? I'm back to do this check in. We're gonna uh, reapply this Natasha Transform Matte Foundation, see how long it lasts, or how well it holds up. I think I wore it for three hours the first day, no, maybe five, maybe five hours. But I did uh, go outside, I was sitting by the pool, playing with the dog, the heat kicked in. And I literally just, woo, it was so hot. And I just had a little sweat beads sitting on top of my makeup. I was like, huh? The makeup wasn't moving, wasn't running. The beads were just sitting on top. And I was like, outdone. But I ain't gonna lie, I didn't take no chance. I jumped in front of the fan that's out there by the pool and let it <laughs> blow real hard in front of my face because I wasn't ready to take my face off. But anyway, uh, it's 11 now, 12, 1, 2, 3. Maybe around 3, we'll do a 4-hour check-in, four fives. Three, four, five, six, seven, or eight. Seven or eight. We'll be back again to see how this foundation holds up. I hope you guys enjoy this video. See you real soon. Hey guys, it's girl. Looking nice. What's going on? I'm back to do this wear test today on this foundation. On this uh transfer mat. Natasha did on the transfer mat foundation. Mine is in the shade 92W Deep, which I think is a little dark, but I think I can work with it. I, I really don't want to take it back, so I think I can get it to work. Uh, maybe I won't bring it down. If you saw my first video, when I brought it down my neck, you could really see how dark it was. So maybe I'll just stop in here somewhere. But yeah, it's what time is it? It's 1026. Well, the phone didn't want to show you the time. Y'all see it, 1026. And uh, we're going to be wearing this foundation all the day long. All the day. Let's see. Since I'm wearing it all day, I'm going to put everything on my face that I normally put on my face. This video off using my Olay uh, Rejuvenous Whipped Daily Moisturizer. That's what it looks like. I absolutely love, love, love that moisturizer. It just mats up and it doesn't take long for it to mat up. Y'all, yeah, I honestly had put my corrector on and had to go in reverse and just start it all over, to tell the truth. I'm going to go back with my, I just love this stuff. I do, I don't like the price, but I do love this stuff. This is a Touch Luminous Silk Canvas Primer. I really do love this primer. I mean, I've been getting the dog use out of it. I, don't, I probably don't, I don't use that little thing that came with it. The dog, I mean, I've been getting a lot of use out of it. A lot of this, thinking about my dog down there. He been in there quiet all day this morning. Now, what's going on? Well, I've been up since 6, and usually he raising Cain to get out. Look, I'm scared to go see because he is old. <laughs> hmm. Okay. There we go. Trying to get it rubbed in really good. And I figured out why I got all these little breakouts, y'all. It's the biotin. I take the hair, skin, and nail vitamins every day. And it's the biotin and the vitamins. Yeah, make my skin stay broke out. So I'm just using my little uh, Naked Skin by Urban Decay corrector. Yeah. Put that on to try and help with these little... Uh, Spots and dots. Well, not really the spots and dots so much, but these big tail bumps on my face. And this one right here, leaving a black mark. I should have left it alone. Sorry about that car, y'all, if y'all heard it going by. Okay. Let's see. Okay, so we're going to take this foundation and just pop the pump. It is a pump. I don't know if you guys know that it did have a, does have a pump on it. I'm going to pump some right there. And I'm going to just stick my finger in there and just dot some on my face. Yeah, I can tell it's dark. I may, I may go back. 
I just don't want to. And I was already looking on the website when I was thinking about taking it back to see. Oh, I forgot, guys. I forgot to show you the stuff that Desi sent me. Look at that. She sent me some brushes. Uh, this little hairband that I have on. And this really, really cute band. I was sitting here looking for the brush I'm going to use. And it was one of the brushes she sent me. Thank you so much, Desi. You are such a sweetheart. Thank you. You know I'm going to get you back though, right? <laughs> Thank you, girl. But anyway, this is one of the brushes she sent me. This is a Deuces. Um, this brush. I like these. I'm, I'm going to go on there and see, can I find more of these? These brushes are really, really soft. It's do care. I said Deuces. It's do care. I really like these brushes. I don't know how she found them. But she found them. Oh wow, this brush may be a little bit too soft. Maybe a little bit too soft for foundation. Oh, maybe I should use it for powder. It's not firm enough for foundation. But it's the only brush I bought in here, so this is what we're using. I just feel so ooh, special. She just made me feel so special. Mind you, we've been on this YouTube. I know I've been on eight. I don't know if she's been on nine or longer. And ever since that time, we've just been really talking back and forth. Let me go in with my beauty blender. I'm not going to put too much on. That's, you know, I don't want to shear it out too much. Or have any effect on top of everything else that I put on my place. How this foundation wears. Y'all know I want fuller coverage than this, but I, I'm not gonna do it. I lied. I gotta put a little bit more on. <laughs> I got to, y'all. I got to. I gotta cover this stuff just a little bit more. I just don't see this is just me, but I don't understand the whole concept of skin like foundation. I don't want my skin peeking through. I really don't. I want it to look just like it did when I was 16. <laughs> it's going to take a miracle. <laughs> I know, right? But anyway, yeah, that's about good. Let's see. What else is I going to do? I'm going to use my uh, Avery Wine Concealer. This is in... Over there, get them smile lines because I don't want it cracking. And if any of this alters the foundation or duration, it for me it won't because this is what I do with every foundation, and I feel like my foundation should be able to any foundation should be able to withstand my daily routine, or it's just not for me, you know. And usually it's this concealer because I'm just about out of the top shape tape. And uh, I really hadn't spent that $30 back for it. I bought about five of those age rewind because I really do like them. So this is pretty much what I use on a daily basis. Okay. Now, let's see. I'm going to use my Laura Mercier translucent powder. Mine is just been through the wrinkle. It's been through the wrinkle. <laughs> Sip this concealer. Mm, I forgot to do my contouring. But we're going to have to make it work. Because i got to slam this fat face down. That is a must. It's a must. This Black Radiance Bronzer. It's a pressed powder. That's what it says. It's in the color Ebony. I'm going to use this to contour it. But I guess I want to use the cream first. I wasn't going to use it because I already put the powder on. But I really want my contour to be dark. I want to, you know, 
go ahead and skinny my face right on up. Get rid of this fatness. We want to be cute while we eat. Yes, and you never know. <laughs> A bone might walk in there. <laughs> I'm just saying. Anybody could walk in there and I'm sitting there, you know, with my face half done. I might as well do it if I'm going to do it right. Now, I'm going to go over that contour. This black radiance powder. I didn't think it would work. I thought it was going to mix in with that. And I never do my face first. Never, ever, ever. I guess we're going to play with this uh, lemonade palette. Uh, only thing is, I forgot to get it. So let me go grab it. One okay. moment, guys. Let's play with this new lemonade palette. The new one. Let's see just really how pigment it is. I mean, I really, I'm not going to know the difference because the only thing I ever did with the old one was do uh, swatches. And they weren't good. But I stuck my finger in this one and it was pretty good. So, let's see. I guess I'll start with this uh, new tea. This one right here. And just put it all over. All over me eyes. Oh, oh wait, I forgot. Stop the press. Stop. Gotta use my Smashbox, y'all. I'm tripping. Gotta prime these lids. But these little folds will be going haywire. They'll be everywhere. I have creases throughout every anybody's palette. Whether it's good, bad, or indifferent, it won't. It won't be. It won't be nice. It'll be real ugly, y'all. Real ugly. Now I can do some. Oh, anyway, I don't know if I said the Smashbox lid primer. If I didn't, that's what it was. Now, let's get this stuff together. Let's get this party started right. Yeah, this is just a peachy look, and I'm going to just use it to set my primer. That's what I'm doing. Let's see what we're going to do next. Let's go into this. Hmm. How about the lemon? I just want to use some shades in here, y'all. I'm worried about my food. That yellow, y'all see that? Ooh. Okay. All right. It didn't even swatch this good. So this, this palette has been fixed. <laughs> wow. Okay. I gotta figure out how to tone this down. I was not ready. I wasn't ready for that. I wasn't ready. That kind of snuck up on me a little bit. Okay. I will say that the Dominique palette has been corrected. <laughs> I guess I'll go with this mango. I'm still using the same little Sigma E42. All these colors are pretty much light. I'm gonna tap this one off. Yeah, that helped a little bit. Yeah, these shadows have been, I mean, wow. I think these companies need, I'm just saying, I don't know if you ever worked in a factory before, but I used to work in a steel mill years ago. And um, quality control. You know, nobody stops, grab the pad palette off the line and test it. Before you say yes, ready to go, or no, you know, pull the bad, or say no, that's the whole bad batch before they get out to the public, because that has to be a, has a hassle with losing product and reshipping everything. I'm just saying, in my thoughts, the way I'm, I'm thinking about it, it has to be a way to be cheaper just to buy quality control. Anyway, we're gonna use this sweet tea right here. This is a Morphe brush. There's no number on it. My phone always rings. It never fails. Okay, we're gonna go in here and you just need to, this uh what is this? Sweet tea. Sweet tea in the creases. Ooh, I should have tapped it off. Ooh. 
Yes, this palette has been redone. <laughs> wow. But yeah, they need to get some quality control in these. Because um, I'm pretty sure that's what they just like. Factories that are making these cosmetics. Okay. Moving on. We're going to go into this chai tea right here. I'm going to use this in the corners. Just to deepen up the outer corners. Mm, it's a pretty summer palette now, but summer's almost over, you know. Okay, I think <coughs> lastly, I'm gonna use this Mac 217. I said some rock and pink. I'm gonna go into this raspberry just to see if it's as pigmented as it looked on a dry brush. Just to see. Yep, and it is. Yes, it is. Really good color pair. Okay, she has been redeemed. I don't know. Did I stick my brush in the raspberry or did I go into the blueberry? I think I lost my mind, y'all, and I put it in the blueberry. I think I used blueberry. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I sure did. That's blueberry. I guess my mind wants to go with the raspberry, but my heart wants to use the blueberry. <laughs> it's a struggle sometimes. It's just, it's, I'm just saying, it's a struggle sometimes. <laughs> wow. I honestly did that. Okay. I still want to, I guess I use this pink lemonade. No, I still want to use this strawberry. I still want to use it. Let me get another fluffy brush. This is a, I don't know, makeup show. That's what it says. I don't know where I got this brush from. But I still want to use this strawberry. It don't really look like strawberries. Oh, now it does. Okay. Hmm. Okay. I really don't want a lot of shimmer, but I can't stop playing it in this stuff. It's good. I'm going to try this green. I'm just trying these shadows, y'all. I'm going to put this green right here. Yep. Look at there. Really pigmented. I pretty much use them all except peach. <laughs> I'm done with whatever I'm going to do to these little eyes. I'm going to go uh, put my lashes on. Put me some liner on. And uh, I'll be back with the finished look and we can begin this wear test. Alright okay, guys, I'm back. I'm done with my face. Completely done. But I remember the Kat Von D um, lash liner. I figured somebody would want to see how this looks so, or how it works. I know somebody like, why you got that green, y'all? I'm compiling this basket. Hold on, let me show it. I went and bought a basket because I'm compiling this video of stuff I bought, but I never used it. And this palette, I just got it. And I didn't want it in that video, so I used the green under the bottom. So I can say I used it. Because this is really sickening. But we're going to get it up. But I'm, I'm going to do it after a haul that I've already purchased, y'all. If you don't know, I am only nobody. We are, a few of us out here in this little cute nurse world land, are on nobodies. We own the nobodies. Come on. We're doing it, Desi. Uh, Cynthia? Uh, yeah, my mind's short. It's, a, it's real short. Uh, but you know who you are. I am on nobody. I I. Yeah. But I'm going to put the haul up first, guys, so you guys can see the haul. Oh, let me tell you what's on my lips, because I know somebody going to ask. It's the uh, Too Faced Dark Soul. That's what that looks like. And then the uh, 
Marc Jacobs Sugar Sugar lip gloss on top. Because Dark Soul is a matte. I just put the sugar sugar on top. Come on, pick up so I can see. There, there. Oh, it's upside down. I thought it. Yeah. Now, that's what I'm working with. But we're gonna play with this right here real fast so you guys can see. This is the lash liner by Cat Bunny. The one this the liquid liner to put on your waterline. Looks like it's gonna rain. I was looking at the sun go down. Got my mirror. Let's see how this comes out. Gotta pull this out. I tried it when I first got it. It was so cold. Don't burn. That's a good thing. It's really cold though. And everything aggravates my eyes. So I'm thankful that this don't just make my makeup fly off. But that's how it works. It doesn't burn, but it's really cold. <laughs> okay, lipstick on my lip Got to get that out. Mm, I'm going to do that video tomorrow, y'all. I forgot about it until I said that. Okay. I'm going to wear my little bunny ears all day. They so cute. Somebody might think I'm crazy though out in public with bunny ears on, so I ain't going to do that. The hair I'm rocking is Sweet Pea. I did a review on her, but I haven't curled her or bumped her in a while. So, yep. So, let me spray my face. And I will see you guys 11.18 now that I'm done. I missed a few calls. I don't know who. That's it, y'all. I will see you guys on the next check in. Hey, guys. You really can't see what my face looks like because it's so bright, sunny, and hot out here. That building helped a little bit. But uh, it's 2.42. It's almost 3 o'clock, and this foundation is really holding up. I'm um, out, about. I'm in the elements. I just stopped the Bahama Bugs to get me a... Uh, to get me a... Uh, what are they called? The Bahama Mama? Yeah, the car in front of me it has like 15 different. <laughs> I don't want to say 15 kids. It's a truck and it's a huge truck. And there's so many kids in the truck, it's shaking. <laughs> That's a shame. So uh, I know I'm going to be sitting here for a minute waiting for this icy. But yeah, this is the first check in and uh, this foundation looks good. It looks really nice. And I done had a couple of flashes since I put this on. And so it was a lot of sweat on my face and didn't go anywhere. <laughs> I'm just saying. I don't know how the quality of this video is going to look. 611 is your change. Thank you. All right. I don't know how the quality, quality of this video is going to come out because of the sun. It's so bright out here. Um, I just don't know. Thank you. Oh, no, this is fine. Thank you very much. This is good. Look at this. This is life. This is so much life on top of life. Look at that. Yes, I live for these things. They are so, so good. Ugh. Oh, it's pretty. And they put some little... Eye oh, this is beautiful. Mm, 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 mm. I can't help myself. I have to get one of these in the summertime every day. Every day. Yes, I'm back. And this is what my foundation is looking like. Let's see. What time is it? It's 7.41. Why do you do that? 7.41. Oh, there we go. 7.42 now. And I'm pretty shiny. And I've had this foundation on since about, what, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I almost made 10 hours. And I'm, honestly, I'm thinking this is more sweat than it is oil because I'm burning up right now. And it's not the lights. I'm just real, real hot. And I got my air on 66. And, and I was about to fall asleep. And I was like, oh, no, I don't want to do that. I'm going to use this little powder puff to get some of the oil out. 
And I'm gonna use my uh, Velvet Touch Japanese powder. Yeah, it's a, a mattifying. I want to see how this does. And this is my old uh, SS150 by Sigma. This brush. About eight years old. So the first set that I got from Sigma, Sigma a long time ago. But I'm going to see how this foundation is. It mo it's not moving. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. With all the heat and sweating that I do. It's still there. It's still there. This lipstick is too. This is Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick. I put it on right after the video. Because I want something a little more pink. And I've been eating. What did I eat? Oh, I got me one of those uh, Icy's. I got a little Icy. And a steak taco. That's what I've been eating. I don't think it looks too bad, but I can still tell it's way too dark from my face to my neck. It's too dark. I think I'm going to go get another, go ahead and get another one tomorrow. Since I got to go down and wait anyway. So yeah, this is how the fa it holds up good to the oil. It's not falling off. I can see a little crack here. A little crack here. But 10 hours. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. Okay, guys. I'm going to get this video uploaded, uploaded because it's late in the day and I want to have it up at least before 10. All right. I'll talk to you guys later. Hope you had a blessed, wonderful day. And if you already got this foundation, comment down below. I hope you really enjoyed it, especially if it was off my initial video and the foundation good because I've been back here saying, y'all, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have did. See, there I go talking. I'm going to see y'all in the next video. <laughs> Bye, y'all. <laughs>